Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Just on our way out the door here. Uh, it's early. You can see we've got a beautiful blue sky and uh, welcome to Florida, right? <laughs> um, but uh, take a look at the video here today. We're going to talk about stem walls, exterior waterproofing, and why things happen. A lot of people don't understand how water can get sucked up through the foundation, through that slab floor. That's concrete. But it's really simple. If you take a look at the video, I think you'll understand a lot. Great help for the do-it-yourselfers, especially when you start to dig down along that foundation because you're really not sure what, you know, what exactly you should do and why it works. You know, this is showing you how and why that this system works. So I'm also going to introduce Sideshow Bob. Uh, that guy up there really kind of gets to you. I, I don't know how he's surviving. Um, looks like he's only done maybe eight, ten jobs the whole year. And he takes, you know, video from that job and makes it look like another job. <laughs> Comes up with grub worms eating this stuff off the fabric. Uh, shows a redos, you know, that he's calling that he comes back 15 years later. Uh, come on, guys. <laughs> but we're going to see if we can't help him out because he's really scared. I mean, he's so scared of me that I, I can't imagine. But take a look at Sideshow Bob. It's at the back of the video. We'll introduce that, try to get some good, clean fun, and maybe help out Bob up there. Sideshow Bob. Okay, take a look at this floor. That's sand in that corner. And you can see the water damage. That's hardwood floor. Look at it. It's buckled. Water damage. This is a slab home. How in the world did that sand get up on the floor? That's the biggest question people ask me is how, how can the sand be brought up on the floor? Take a look. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today, let's take a look at a stem wall foundation. These are very popular foundations all across the country. And let's take a look at how they're built and the problems that they have. A good example of a stem wall is a home that's built on a hill. And one or more corners need to be raised in order to achieve a level floor. So let's take a look at a continuous concrete poured footer. Here we've exposed the footer wall and what we're doing is we're just trying to take a look to see how deep our excavation is going to be. The floor is actually about 16 inches above this footer. The grade of the yard comes from the street downhill to the back of the house. Therefore there is a stem wall here in the back and I'll show you that here in just a second. From the front of the home to the back of the home, there is about a 16th inch grade downhill to the back. In order to create a level floor, they had to build a stem wall here in the back. In order to create a level floor, blocks were laid up here in the back, backfill brought in, and then the floor is level. Then they can level the floor and pour concrete slab across the floor. After the footer was poured, a few courses of block were laid, then dirt was brought in and compacted to level the floor. Let's take a look at the basic construction of a stem wall once again. So first, a solid concrete poured footer is poured around the perimeter. Next, courses of block are laid up. This creates the stem wall. Once a few courses of block have been laid, backfill is brought in and compacted. Then a vapor barrier is laid across the compacted backfill. Next, a poured concrete floor called a slab. In this house, the concrete floor is actually two blocks above the exterior grade. So how could water possibly rise that high and enter the floor and cause problems? As it rains and groundwater begins to rise, water is pushed upwards and it begins to flood into this corner. So much water gathers, continues to gather. Pressure begins to build. So much pressure builds that the water is pushed up and between the wall and the floor with this much pressure under the concrete slab, it's enough to crack the floor. 
water gets between the floor and the vapor barrier and now it's sitting there and if you have a hardwood floor or tile you'll start to see damage so much pressure underneath the floor and because concrete is a porous material you begin to see water on top of the floor take a look you see that sand in the corner look at the hardwood floor buckling this is water damage water under the floor causing that hardwood to buckle there's so much pressure that between the wall and the floor it pushes the sand up can you see that look at all that sand that's from water pressure even though it's 16 inches above grade water still comes up so how do you correct this problem how do you stop that water well right now there's no place for water to go if we install a footer pipe some people call it a French drain but it's actually perforated pipe surrounded by gravel set at the footer level it has to be down at the footer level below that floor Remember, without the footer pipe, there's no place for the water to go and hydrostatic pressure begins to build and it pushes up through the concrete floor. The footer tile removes that water. If you're ready to tackle this installation yourself, take a look at some of the footer tile installation videos. There's truly hundreds of them and we solve this problem every day. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to tackle this project, I promise you that you can do this and install it yourself, save yourself thousands of dollars, and solve that problem. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Be sure to watch our next video, French Drain Scammers in Orlando, companies pretending to be Apple Drains. Bonjour, bonjour. I'm Sideshow Bob. You want to know how to build a French Drain? Only I can build a French Drain. Be sure to join my first episode, Chuck in a Truck. Okay, guys, until next time, or until I can copy more video of that guy that helps so many people because only I can build a French drain. <laughs>